Okay, what I've drawn here is a Dutch gable. And in this little tutorial, I'm going to do the same thing to this end so you can see how I did it. I'm going to go back to plan view. Actually, I think it would be more instructive if I could do it in a, uh, since we're in X1, I'll do it in a camera view. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, click on this roof plane to select it and just pull it back. Same thing with the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a roof plane. Let's see. Okay, we got 912 there. I think the rest of the other planes are 912. Yeah, okay. So we'll make this tool active. Left click, drag a uh, baseline, drag it up in the direction I want it to slant. Left click. I'm going to select it, grab this end, drag it over here to make a triangle shaped uh, roof plane. Now I'm going to go back to a camera view so you can see this uh, finished up. Okay, we'll select this side of that <clears throat> roof plane that I just created and connect it over there. Select this side. Click on the Join Roofs tool one time. Click where I want it to join. All right, next I'm going to use the Break tool. Left click. Not really concerned as to exactly where I put the brake, but I'm going to flatten this uh, hip plane out here. <clears throat> Drag it down a little bit. I'm going to set this with the dimensions and use the parallel tool in uh, plan view. I'm going to put a couple of brakes in these uh, one here. Drag this one forward back towards me. Select this roof plane, brake tool and let this snap to the end there. I didn't get a break. Let me do that again. Break tool. Left click. I probably just, I didn't click close enough to the actual, well, okay. Being a little contrary. There we go. I'll straighten it out in plan view. But there's the basic shape. Obviously it needs a little work, so I'm going to do that in plan view. <clears throat> I take this edge here, use the parallel tool, left click, left click, it parallel, par parallels that are perpendicular to what I clicked on. Same thing to this edge here. Okay, now over here on this rough plane, let's see what's that dimension. One foot one and an eighth. Okay copy that value. I don't particularly care about the actual uh, dimensions as long as they're symmetrical. I'm going to parallel up this line here. Okay, so I want uh, I think this is what I got the dimension from. Yeah, okay. So I guess I need to set this one first. Alright, that's it. That's it. So that's the top of this uh, hip plane. I'm going to bring it down so it dimensions from the uh, wall here and click on that dimension, paste that value in there that I copied before, and then the distance between uh, these roof edges is that figure. You just set it the way you want it based on how you're going to build it in the field. I'm just doing this quickly to and just show you the basic actions. I'm going to pull this line over so that it automatically dimensions from this one I just dimensioned. Paste that value in. That didn't look right. Let's see, that's... Sorry about that. Okay, that... Let's see, this uh, hip plane... All right. That nah, looks about right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me just manually dimension this here. 
Okay, two foot one and seven sixteenths. That's from uh, outside to there. Okay, two foot one and seven sixteenths. I could spend more time making this tutorial, but uh, I don't work much differently from you guys. Now, what's this distance here? That's uh, okay, one foot and three eighths. We'll set that same dimension here. Control V on the keyboard. Let's see where is that edge? I guess it's over here. There it is. I'm gonna drag it. Actually, you can just drag this over until it snaps. See the snap indicator? <clears throat> now we're part the way there. We're not we're not finished. See there's a rake wall over here and I and there's no rake wall here. But there's no wall underneath uh, right here. <clears throat> Chief isn't going to automatically build a rake wall, so we're going to draw one in manually. <clears throat> I need roof planes uh, to be referenced, so I'm going to set those go over to the reference set. And make sure roof planes are, they're not by default referenced in the re reference display set. So I've got that set. Now I can go up to the attic and turn on the reference display. There's that line that I'm looking for, that roof line. We'll draw a wall up here. And I'm going to flip the layers over so that the siding's to the outside. Then we'll zoom in and drag this over until it's just a little tiny bit away from the red line, but pretty close. Also, this wall here needs to be set as an attic wall. So since I drew it manually, you have to do these things, set these attributes here manually. Uh, I want attic wall retain, no locate, no room to find. Those are the default attributes of an attic wall. Now we can overview it and uh, that should wrap it up. So there's the one I did before and there's the one after. And as you can see, they're symmetric. So that's how you do a, a Dutch or Texas gable.